They tend to bind, see my arm turning. They tend to bind in these slots, especially when they're when you get them full up. These were the only two vaguely single diamond shaped things. We're not proper rakes or auto rakes in the kit. Um, nothing special. So I don't know if this is to allow them to maybe jiggle around somewhat independently in the lock. It's pretty stiff, springy. It's pretty thick material, so. I'm not exactly sure what the purpose of that is. So these are the ones that I'm categorizing generally as rakes. You can see them all together. We'll zoom in. So these two I'm categorizing as rakes. That's like a, a snowman or double circle, double ball. This one, you know, I guess you call it an open diamond, but it does have these two bumps here. But I'm gonna call that a rake type thing. This one, which is, I don't know, it actually has a similar profile to some of this little mini snake rakes or the double hump rakes. We've got a city rake, which is actually pretty decent. Um, this rake, which I'm not 100% sure what this is for, maybe for very, very small locks. It's, it's pretty narrow. The total height on that is only like 0 0.78, 078, or come on, 2 mil, hopefully, ish. But there's not a lot of variance in height on it. You know, maybe plus or minus 10 thousandths. So I'm not exactly sure what that's good for, but we'll see. Um, and then there's this guy, which. I don't know. I'm gonna call it the saw, um, for lack of a better term. It's a, a the profile is similar to a Bogota, but not really. The, the aspect is wrong on the pumps, um, and it's really thick. I think this was the o, this was either 036 or 03. Yeah, 036. That's the thickest metal of the the ones. Most of the rigs were pretty thick. Uh, only thing I found this useful for so far is um, like cleaning blocks by, you know, shove some lubricant in there and run your run this back and forth just to run the pins up and down. And it's strong so you can just use a lot of force. And this, I think, is probably worth the $35 or $30 plus shipping that you pay for this kit. This one has a, another, it's a flat top, but you probably can see there's a little notch in there. Is that this one? Yeah. It's like a little notch, and that'll sometimes help you grab onto a pin. And then you get into two that are really quite small. Um, I was using one of these when I picked the um, Eva DPI the other day. Um, they do, they are quite, you know, bouncy, squishy uh, when you get going on them, and this one even wants to go sideways, but you can sure weave those into those little narrow keyways.
trust on the case. positive thing about them, they're very distinctive. Um, on the downside, that means when you're using one on a video, it's immediately obvious that you're using a clom. On the other hand, if you're looking for a pick and you'll have a cloms laying around, they're easy to spot. So, there you go. This has been Alex. Thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe to my feed if you like my videos. And um, as always, have fun and keep it legal. Cheers.